be a great game, a brawl. It is over to Capitalist and Blitz. Well, it's the grand that. finals, Pain versus Maneski, game three. You know, my favorite part about that was when Shiva announced us, she pretended as though we weren't literally right next to her. <laughs> Handed off. We were literally a foot <laughs> Your half of Your commentators. Uh, Bye, yes, Shiver. We have a bug here. From my, the sh I can't see your map. <laughs> the half second away that she was from me Hello? as I shuffle over closer to the edge of my couch. She literally, <laughs> uh -huh. both figuratively and literally, Hi. handed it off to us. Hi. Indeed. I'm sorry. Uh, I cool. Production, you were saying something. I did not hear it. Or no, was that in-game? I think that it's was that was KP. Yeah, that was the player's so. I can hey. hear KP. Hello? <laughs> That's misery now? Hey. How's it going, guys? Пиздец, рыска, блядь. If can we you could start. See our map? What's going on? <laughs> no, not anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Hey, good luck. My friend. Oh, they're still friendly. That's good. I mean, all these guys. And Febby's well, just like the friendly. It's just a friendly guy. There's definitely one bad sport. Who? Jay Mari isn't in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Is Asbriel playing professional Dota? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to D Stones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to see that. We're about to see that guy. <laughs> I, know. I just keep on getting hyped for being able to see D Stones at I land. legit I legit am going to take a selfie for Merlini. Yeah. Me I too. almost convinced Ben to go to that event just to say <laughs> just to see D Stones in person. D Stones in person, yeah. Oh. Uh. That would have been excellent. LGD dropped out of, uh, didn't they drop out of the C event? No idea. All right, here we go. This was going to be there. All right, and game three is about to get underway. Mineski currently up 2-0 in this best of five. Could just be a quick 3-0. Could be. We Very have seen reverse sweeps before, though. It happened to me once as a coach. When was the last big reverse sweep in Dota that happened? Again, it's been it, a while. it happened to me as a coach. We might have was been the last one, honestly. Last one? What event was that? <laughs> it was DreamHack Atlanta. We were up 2-0 uh, on Liquid yes. after practice. We beat, by the way, we beat Liquid and we, we beat Secret in a best of five. And all those teams, they got like top eight or one. Uh -huh. It was like, man, DC. You guys, were not, you guys were already out of TI at that point, right? Yeah, we really So you guys were just like, let's end the season on a win, guys. I mean, Misery was picking like support tied. Yeah, he was yeah. picking ahead of his time there, because that that actually ended up becoming. Uh, oh, Misery's a genius when it comes to Dota. Yeah. He just uh, he's an angry fellow sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he's an angry man. Tombo's going to be playing off lane Tinker. That is a thing. And he, we are going to be having the clink spin against the. Um, understand this idea, because right now he's the got tiny. He's got three Maybe you start off as a tiny, just for the first level or two. Not sure. Because of the branch. Oh, that weaver. Two more hits. Got to be careful. A lot of damage from this. Uh, misery can do to stop him because his damage, like he usually, Crystal Maiden does decent harassment damage, but it's an ogre. You can see KP is more than willing to go for the kill on Misery. That's going to be your first blood. KP sure. picks it up. <laughs> Meanwhile, HFN, a.k.a. Archangel, is already and is left with nothing but stick charges. Yeah, and this bottom lane isn't going much better either. They could conceivably yeah. just win all three lanes here. Amaneski up 2-0 in the series. That's not good. Yeah, that is, that is something that could definitely start tilting you. At least Weehaw's... Long range toss off of the soul rip as well. That is a close one, but it's not enough. Archangel does manage. 
the trade-off. At least he gets to go back and get some regen, because there is no way this laning phase is going to continue for him without more regen. Yeah, but you've almost got Arcane Boots on a KP if he wants him. Oh. And it's not the worst trade in the world for Archangel either, because you die there, but... Being there with no regen is the same thing as dying, right? Yeah, it really is. He's just going to get harassed up. Look at him. Man. He does not have a whole lot of tangos. He's got 10 magic stick charges, but... He had those from earlier, too, but I think he realized that he was going to die no matter what. Yeah. Without Shikuchi up. Better to better just keep yep. keep the charges for your next life. They probably want to bring the Undying back down here because the Necro is not doing nearly as well anymore. Yeah. Weehaw's probably had enough health. <laughs> Putting the Decay and then tossing in, uh, a creep and tossing the branch at Weehaw. It's pretty funny. You're just going to salve. I'm upset for you, my man. All right, now I can see. Now I can see what this tiny versus clinks is all about. It's about all about the toss. You just keep toss harassing him. And here comes Mushi back down to this bottom lane. Trying to go for the big heart Seder. I think Mizer grabbed it. Not sure. KP does like have the bug it. on him. He's finally actually a little bit squishy there. They do some damage to him, but as he him. takes off the bug, as soon as the bug goes away, he gets his eight armor back. It's Pointless. Pointless trying to fight that man. And this bottom lane, there's a lot of harass. JT is taking a lot of damage here. He has to go shroud eight magic stick charges. I think that's why he was. Kafos. We have did find a regen rune. Very lucky. That'll help. The mouth. Telekinesis into a bad position with a follow-up stun. Misery is definitely dead. It's just a question of how much damage Archangel can get onto KP in the meantime. Just kill that bug. Don't care. Go yep. Shrine. There goes your armor's back, baby. Tavo gets super low. Trying to chase him down. Does receive some missile damage. They actually managed to kill King RD because he just couldn't kill the tombstone fast enough. It's got one hit and... And Tavo is just being zoned out of all this experience as well. Oh, he wanted that hit on that tombstone too. It's a good chunk of gold. Five minute bounties, Mineski pick up most of them. Archangel grabs one of them. He just keeps getting shuttled out. Oh, this is super bad landing phase for pain, but at least they'll like, they have guarantee a better, well, not guaranteed, but they have Spectre Tinker. Like I have to assume they'll have a pretty decent late game advantage. This the is game the hope. is somewhat even. As now the swap has been made, I probably shouldn't be Tinker anymore. Yeah, that's yeah, probably for the best. So just gonna back off. Plus, you want that Tinker off cooldown for when, um, for when Weehaw. Weehaw wants to turn into a Tinker. Yeah. Which isn't gonna be until oh. he has bots. Right? He went from Centaur to immediately Nyx. Well, and that does kind of make sense. That would be better against Necrophos anyway. Telekinesis, Archangel again. Until you have those higher levels of Shikuchi, it's always a bit dangerous getting aggressive like this, but maybe they can kill Febby, the bug is off them, but they still have the physical damage. Magic Stick charges enough to keep him alive. Him? And now Archangel, he got baited in, he's gonna die to KP unless he gets some Magic Stick charges of his own, turns around, goes for the kill on KP, who still has Ignite, and yeah. Can't really go for the closing kill on Ogre. Yeah, nice trades back and forth, but not really doing too much. This bottom lane continues to just get harassed out. Still doing pretty well in all three lanes. Misery is going to join the Nyx Assassin bottom lane. But Mushi is just really punishing this Nyx Assassin. And you are going to have JT picking up his level 6 soon. That is something you can't ever really defend very well against the Reaper Scythe. Because a good Necro will just right-click you and Reaper Scythe. So the animation hits you. God, this bottom lane is miserable to stay in. Dude, all these lanes are miserable to stay in. I just meant the noise. Uh -oh. The taunt spam. That is Mushi, right? 
There's that noise? That, that is a tinker. Oh, that's the tinker. Bugged out. Oh man. No. Oh no. <laughs> is that gonna be for the entire game? We're gonna. Uh, no, I'm sure it'll go away when somebody picks up tinker, right? Right. Please. End this lane. <laughs> I don't care what happens up bottom anymore. We really want Pain to win the bottom lane so they can push it away from that area. Yes. That's what we want. Oh, mid -esky. Stop pushing into the tower. It's mid lane, which is where very important things are happening. <laughs> he just keeps on getting tossed at. 37-2. Ooh. Man, picks up an Imdis Rune. Do they have vision of that? I don't think they did. He's going to come back in the lane mid yeah, anyways. he's just going to show up. Lane's pushing into his tower. Bottom lane, Tavo does kill JT. That's a big kill. By himself? I'm not sure how he does Literally that without the late. Crystal Maiden. Yeah. Weird. And then you also have the Undying, who like... Soul Rip. Huh. Weehaw's going to try and go for the... Crystal Nova from Misery. Is really nice. Being phase is kind of okay for them because how good top's going. Yeah. KP, what are your items right now? What do you think about going, buddy? Does he have arcanes? Yes. So he's most likely gonna stay as the ogre. So that opens. There's three other cores that they could potentially go to. I would not mind a blink dagger on him. Because he could be a, a blinking in stunning ogre for you. Yeah. But then he can also turn into an Ursa if he wants. Hell, you don't even mind like the sort of off lane void. Because then you can keep your core necro as well. I mean, I think with arcane boots it's hard to go for Yeah. This is this is definitely one of those ideas you have to like. You have you're to not know planning, what you're, gonna you're do. not planning to switch heroes for like a good 20, 30 minutes, probably. Yeah. Nice jump. Initiation with a Spectre coming in, but instant full heal out. And if anything, Misery's going to die here as Misery's going to be the one taking out the Reaper Scythe. They turn on Ibushi, but Tavo, he is not. Oh, look at this. JT switched <laughs> over to the Void. He's going to be able to get the Chronosphere. Locks down the two of them. The TP's coming in from the Lich. Not going to be able to save Tavo, though. The Chain Frost comes in, immediately stops, and that is no bounces whatsoever. And the Spectre, very low. Arcane. Was very nice. Weehaw. Is he gonna try and kill somebody here? See if it, he has this regen going on. Pops aside a vision for the moment. Weehaw still managed to get that last couple of shots. Now, yeah. It does mean he can't go back into the, like at this point in the game. Uh, it's, it's okay. You're, you're you not like pressure. a great farmer. You can die pretty easily. Yeah. Do you think moon swaps? That's my question right now. I think he just stays as tiny. Yeah. Play tiny until like 20, 25 minutes. You can get like Shadow Blade and stuff like that too. Yeah. This is bottom tower being Let's assailed. Say. There's a little. Make sure to land the stunned freebie. And these TPs, they're both going to get canceled. So, sure enough, Pain will have a better chance to take this tower. Wee huh? Now turning into. Alright. I'm okay with that. There is nothing happening on uh, in game during this time. Lane, but they are just going to be able to go straight for the mid tier one as an exchange, and we're going to see a lot of pudges. <laughs> Misery, they're going to try and maybe set up on Mushi. Now, Mushi's still pretty tanky, but with the impaled vendetta hit, that is enough damage. They can quickly deal with the tombstone, but here comes the void, and he does have the chronosphere. Archangel's got to try and get out of here. They managed to get the frostbite, but there goes the chronosphere. Stop it. They're on Misery. Weeha can help him out. They can get a laser to be able to don't give the oh my god. He will die now. Triple kill for Moon. You guys should see JT's face, and then you should see Weeha's face. Yeah. It is the biggest dichotomy I've ever seen. JT was super hyped. He was hyped. My man was shouting. He went mech on KP. 
Okay, so he's probably not Ursa. <laughs> <laughs> We've narrowed it down. So he's going to turn into the Necro? We've done the math. He's going to go into a Necro like yeah. Think about it. You're enraged up. Your enraged falls. You're like, oh, we can kill him now. Just like they can kill Febby's Rubik. So he knows about the ward because the rocket hit him. Oh. Frostbite not fast enough. They do have a bunch of heroes smoked in. They really want to kill Weehaw's Tinker. He's gone, though. But he's already out, so they may just have to kill a Nyx Assassin. Tavo not able to get the spike carapace off fast enough. Oh, Moon is so good on this Tiny. I think he's been godlike every single game that he's played Tiny. Oh, yeah. Man, Maneski's getting real good at this mode. <laughs> like, they're getting scarily good at this mode. They've adapted so quickly. That no one's yeah. going to be the no TA. No one's the Ursa, no one's the TA. Maybe we get a Necro still. Maybe. You could swap the... Uh-oh. Tavo has to bail him out here, and if anything, it could be now our face is void in trouble. Fabe's going to try and come in, run a little interception, but the time walk off will be able to save him now that Shikuchi oh. on Fabe will get him out. He almost just got bashed to death. No chrono. Yeah. Oh, the toss in. Quick kill onto King RD's Lich. That's a moon. I'd imagine that King RD has nobody to swap to. I guess he could be the center. I, I don't really like Lich CM as your supports. Yeah. I feel like you have two heroes that don't really benefit from having farm. And neither one of those heroes, you're like, yes, we want to kill. Like, yeah. remember the uh, the Phoenix, like Earthshaker? Yeah, yeah. We're such good team fighters. They have the opposite problem right now where neither of them are yeah. very good at team fighting. Ross is like, doesn't matter. Against good players, like getting cr getting a freezing field off, chain frost, those are hard things. But William, what if they get a five man impale? True. True. I'd imagine that Tavo will switch to the Centaur and then somebody will take the Nyx. As soon as you get Axe on Tavo. Yeah, I'd imagine that's a swap that you make. It's the yeah. best one that you can make anyways. Sure. It also means that they can have um, Aghanim's Nyx Assassin with Tinker high ground, with Faceless Void high ground. Yeah. That, I mean... No matter what happens in this game, like, Pain can never feel like we're out of it. Because yeah. they have such good high ground defense and good long late game. But maybe they felt that way about game two. Very true. Rock, paper, scissors. No. Okay, we can play once. All right. We're going to do rock, paper, scissors. You won't be, gonna be able to see it on scissors, shoot. Okay. Ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Damn it. He did that was for dinner, by the way. He did scissors, and I did paper. What? Absolutely not. We're doing credit card roulette and hoping OD pulls it out again. <laughs> I only will ever want to play credit card roulette with OD Pixel. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't understand basic math or statistics. <laughs> it's always worth it. <laughs> it's always worth it. Uh, I'm not. Wh uh, what kind of problem are we having? I I'm not sure. It looks like Weha's computer had a small issue, but I think we're uh, about ready to get back into the game. Judging by Weha's keyboard is away. flashy. You have Red Bull Guardians in this best of five that Mineski is currently up to. Zero, we're going to have a fight at bottom lane. Moon is a big time kill with a freezing field out from Misery on the side here. The Tiny's not going to be able to summon, nor does he have the mana to be able to. If you no never stun the Crystal Maiden. <laughs> you have no mana on Tiny? What about that, Blitz? I guess I didn't think of that. You didn't think about the Nyx Assassin CM synergy. Febby could get a Shikuchi initiation here. Or Spike Carapace went off on Tavo. They're just trying to body block him as much as possible. You're all gone. Three dead. Triple, Triple kill, kill for JT. Oh, he got the cat Spike on a Wii. Are they going to Roche? The big thing is they didn't hunt down the Tinker, right? Yeah. Oh, the Ursa swap. Oh, my man's is straight 3,000 IQ. JT with... He's just flipping through the carries... Flipping through the pages, seeing what he wants. This guy... This mode just gets slightly well, weirder and better every time. Tiny and Void top net worth right now. 
the lone hope of pain gaming is definitely Weehan's Tinker, who did not die in that last Chronosphere. Yeah. If he somehow switches to TA and makes that useful, like at the last second, refracts. Oh, he just, uh, like, uh, <coughs> the game starts getting split pushy from Tinker, and he gets TA traps everywhere. He'll have made the full, the full Monty. Yes. He's done all three. That, that will JT be. plays four heroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He doesn't even have Blink. Like, he really doesn't want to be... <coughs> I'm, I think he's just counting down the seconds until he can swap back to Void. Yeah, I think so. That's an Invis CM. Misery is going a Hanamitis. He's over this support life. Because <coughs> you probably do want... I would imagine that the Ogre's still going to be useful no matter what. Right. But then you're giving up the Undying Tombstone team fights. I guess it's not that good against their team. Because for the most part, Payne's going to be playing a pickoff game, not a 5v5 game, right? Mm -hmm. The only 5v5s they're going to do is, like, defending. Oh, leading off the spike here. Base follow-up, impale, but he's so tanky. My man's. Don't try and go on the Ogre. He does. He still has the hood active, and he's got the... Uh... That was the Runes mistake. Yeah. Runes was obsessed with it. They were obsessed with going on It was like some heroes. machismo thing. It was like... They overheard us saying, like, you guys can't kill that guy. They're like, really? <laughs> Watch us. And then they proceeded to get formed. Boy is going to be a beast. And Weaver does not have, like, much of a game to speak of. He went ahead of Midas. So, you know, you can definitely see what kind of game this is turning into. Bane are just going to rat and hand Midas and push this game as late as in that position. You force Mineski to think about all those complicated questions of high ground and what the to do. The triple high, high ground hold? Dude, I'm telling you, if they phantasm the oh. dragon. Oh. Oh, he got the avalanche stun on him right as he came in. Weeha. Goodbye, oh, Weeha. Oh, that death is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. What did Febby steal, by the way? I think he stole something from the Tinker. He stole the arm. The perma lift. The perma lift. They talked about the counter. Tavo. And just get the oh. spirit vessel onto uh, Moon here. Can't they blink. They managed to hit the impale. They do get it. The follow-up stuns. So, uh, their follow-up nukes is just not there from King RD. He doesn't have to extract himself for a moment away from you don't JT, have blink. who does not have blinks. So. Oh, he's going to swap into Void? Oh, and, that was, and do what? That was not cut. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he has the level 20 talent. Stolen something. Because we had to go through some like weird obstacle course just to get back to his base. <laughs> it's the item I wanted to see him get next. It's a very natural uh, progression oh, for him. Yeah to be able to just get pickoffs on Tiny. You gotta clarify, William. I are too many heroes for me to keep track of any conversation or item builds. I'm like Shadowblade. Oh god, which hero's getting Shadowblade? Is it Weaver? Oh, the Courier with the Moss too. This thing is getting a little bit rough here. I could potentially yeah. see a 3-0 in the works. Jump in, Chronosphere, just locking down the Lich. Tavo can hit the Impale, it's gonna be dodged by JT. It's gonna be Frostbitten. At the same time, they killed Archangel. Oh, God. He is having no game whatsoever. Weeha comes in, they really hoping to be able to kill JT. They just can't BKB, catch though. him fast enough. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, the Tinker's just not gonna, like, his missile spam is just not gonna do enough. And they have so much aggressive vision. Misery why almost gets caught by Moon. I don't know why he didn't toss, but it wasn't needed, that's why. Made it slightly harder for himself. You have the defense. Indeed. Look how aggressively they're playing. They're just making sure there's no possible way for Tinker to set up and start getting some march down or anything like that. So sure enough, it's going to become a high ground defense game with Tinker and Weaver split pushing. Nyx Assassin trying to set up pickoffs. Shukuchi. Stolen by Febby. He's going to run through Misery here. Looking to be able to... Oh, the Shrine activated, but they blow him up too quickly. KP standing in front of all three of these heroes as Tiny in the KP's back line for the double mech. damage. He's going to come through. KP's easily going to survive through this. The Chain Frost won't even come close. And now, Big Bad Daddy Moon Ooh. comes in with that double damage. Whomps. Now turns on the next one. Throws the Avalanche. Double kill for him. They're going to walk down mid. They might just get more here. Misery is... Misery. Uh, run away, really, misery! Frostbite! Really dead. Okay, now juke the trees! Juke the trees! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, juke the trees? What, what did you think the upside there was? <laughs> uh, Moon just one, two punches him in the face. Number two, you've got Chrono up now. Yeah. And look at this, the, the Tinker just does no damage. They have this the sustain. Pipe. 
of pot. They've got mech. They're gonna go for the Spectre now, see if they can get a team fight with the Radiance. You gotta make it huge here. They do see... They see Moon. It's Moon's oh. gonna blink back in, but misses out on the Tinker. We, too fast for him. We'll get a lot of damage. Our the Angel's just pop. waiting for his opportunity to get out that ultimate. He's gonna come out with his Agger now. But he is, two sets. he is squishy enough that he can't play super far forward. He does have the dagger cooldown, so he can keep on chasing and keep throwing these, but... And you heard KP, he said, just get back. It's fine. It's a Midas Spectre. You're pretty confident at this point. That is, they have a bunch of Midases. How do they team fight? They have 2,000 net yeah. worth locked up in... How many heroes have a Midas? Uh, two? Just the two of them. So two heroes have a Midas. That's like 4,000 net worth that's doing absolutely nothing for you in fights. Yeah. Like, you need to let that... It's got to percolate, you know? Let you go the, through the grinder for a bit. Blink dagger on your centaur. If you just have this, these two Midases, I think they assume that Weeha would just be able to hold the game like standard Tinker style, but they're just getting run over. Archangel, HFN may get blown up here. Does play back. He was trying to bait a little bit, but he can't afford to lose his life before the rest of Pain comes in with their smoke. Now the Void would be an excellent source for them to instill. Them. They're just going to play for the high, the high ground, ground here. Maneski. Both teams holding their own high ground as King RD just stop out mid. There is two heroes pushing out. It's the CM Nyx Assassin going into through the lane. There's the Chronosphere oh. onto the Spectre. King RD tries to hit a stomp. He just activates the BKB on the face of the Void. Finish off the Spectre. He's down for 60 seconds. Centaur is going to be up next. Two down as CM. Misery. <laughs> he slowly tried to kill. He with his centaur immediately going to be Yule Sceptered up. Follow up, fire blast. No, KP really wants to be able to catch this Tinker. Tinker's not able to blink away right now. Why Tries is he to go TA? For blink away. He's not going to be able to make it. He heard what you said, Blitz. He just wanted to he do it. He wanted the cycle. The trifecta or the quadfecta. Then he went to Void. He, he goes to Ursa and he ends as the TA. That is the 